Welcome to episode 1120 of Love Serve Care. Today's episode, I want to talk to you about this beautiful idea that is even better manifested as a reality. It's this thing called being coachable. That is right. Can you be coachable? Can you receive instruction and implement it at the same speed? That is something to think about. That is something to consider. And I share this with you because in real time in my life, it had me examine something. You know, like I was confronted with a situation with an opportunity. And what I felt initially was a lot of resistance. I don't want to do this and getting quite triggered by it. But who knows? Who knows? This request, this challenge from my coach may work out, may do no harm, may create nothing i have no idea my only responsibility is now to do the gut check within myself and tap in and implement what's been offered out so i say that to you because it's a real thing even with the years of work i've done on myself so far and done with myself there's always these these moments of not wanting to, right? Or finding a resistance, fighting avoidance. I'd like to invite you to this possibility. What if this thing you're avoiding has been the thing that could be the next place for breakthrough, right? The next launching pad for you. What if your success has been hindered by your inability, I shouldn't say inability, your your (laughs) non-compliance, Lack of willingness, uh, fear, whatever word you want to sub in. We'll just put non-compliance for now. Refusal to do or take action or to drop story, whatever it is that may be an opportunity that's been presented to you. What if? What do you think that's cost you so far? Has it cost you new clients? Has it cost you peace of mind? Has it cost you a more loving relationship than what you're currently experiencing? That's possible. And you may be right. You may be thinking to yourself, I trust my inner wisdom. I know it. That is also something that could be. But if you're paying somebody, if you're invested in yourself, if you're working with somebody, they have the equal view. Trust the eagles. Don't trust the ducks. <laughs> trust the eagles. They're looking out for you. They have your back. So be coachable. All that said and done, remember, you're born to live your life in abundance. You're the master of your future. You control your freedom. And you have complete dominance of your thoughts, your emotions, and your habits. Take care. God bless. Stay blessed.